Wesley is Blade to me and ushered in a whole era and, and took risks back then that hadn't really been done. This is a character that Wesley in large part created. This version of my Blade, I thought I'd make him a little more comfortable with himself, you know, in the first ones. He was a little more angry and he had chips on his shoulders and he had a lot of issues. Figured time has passed, he's had plenty of therapy, so now he, he's issueless. I was born ready. Smiling and having a great time being who he is. There's only ever been one blade, there's only ever gonna be one blade. Stepping back into Electra has been a total trip. I played Electra 21 years ago, so I had not picked up a sigh other than like to show off for my kids' friends. <laughs> like I used to tell my kids' friends, I'm a ninja, and I would pull them out and they'd be like, Ugh. But I hadn't done anything like that in years and years and years. It's so fun. They call me the Gambit. Good. Hey, you sure you didn't just really, really want them to, but it never quite worked out? I've been dancing around Gambit for almost close to like 20 years now. I had done truly anything to actually walk onto screen as Gambit just even one time. You want me to look intense or you want me to look like really chill? Like you tell me, man. I am trusting your instincts. Even my childhood, I was playing Gambit. My dad's from New Orleans. And I was the kid that was grabbing like my dad's duster, my dad's raincoat. I had a pack of cards and I was always chucking them at my friends and like doing the whole thing. Talk or I'm gonna start dealing. I just felt like we just played the like the highest stakes like make believe game that you could possibly play. I, I didn't want to stop yesterday. Everybody was like tired. I was like, do we have to go home? <laughs> do I have to take it off? In the first script that we wrote, Hugh sent us a 10 minute voice memo, which I don't recommend sending a 10 minute voice memo to anyone. But the idea that he was the worst Wolverine is the thing that came of Hugh's voice memo. It was such a great access point for us because you not only have the worst Wolverine, but you have a Wolverine that is finally, after 24 years, wearing the yellow suit, you know, wandering around set like Admiral Banana. When I got in the yellow and blue, I knew immediately it would work. It felt amazing. I felt more grounded, deeper, connected than I ever had before in the 24 years. Holy you save the good stuff for special occasions? Killing mostly. I was astonished at how we never tried it, never looked at it. But when I see it, and when I see it, particularly with that cow, I feel more than ever before, me, Hugh Jackman, is lost, gone. It's just Wolverine. Oh my God, the legends are true. In the script, we find a few Wolverine variants. It wasn't until we showed Sean like, oh, here's what we're thinking. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it's like, well, let's get the John Byrne brown and tan costume. Yeah. Let's get Wolverine on the cross. Let's get Calvarine. Let's get like, Old Man Logan. Old we, Man we, Logan. We hit, we hit some like real deep cut comic fans to start digging right. out these Logan variants. It's not you. We're just going in a different direction. That's a recipe for humor. Oh my God, your hair. Oh. It's certainly a recipe for conflict, which is also funny. No Makeup Monday. Good for you. In the case of our movie, it's a recipe for violence. John Byrne Brown and Tan. Now, you fought the Hulk in this outfit, no? I marvel Jesus, you dull creature, and I will not. Yeah. I've always said crazy. if he doesn't want to put the claws back on again, I will. Again. <laughs> you really want? Because he's an actor that is like a Swiss Army knife and can kind of do anything at any moment and, and pivot and strange and wonderful ways. He kind of gave the license for Sean and I to really explore a slightly different version of Wolverine. Wow, you really are the worst one. <laughs>